Hey everyone, I wanted to do a very quick uh, video updating you, you on um, and uh, to answer the question uh, what am I doing with the, to replace my 991911 um, and to ask, answer a few of your other questions as well. Um, Porsche will be um, buying this car back in a week or so's time um, and I'm actually going to be very sad to see it go. Despite all the problems I had with it, you know, um, it took me a long time to configure this car exactly the way I wanted it and when it was working it's, it's been the best car I've ever owned, you know. Um, I put aside all the problems, I've truly loved the car. Uh, and because of that, uh, I plan to get another one um, at some stage, but um, for now I think I'll take a break. Even though, you know, I'm going to be very, very sad not to see this, uh, this beautiful shape in the driveway every day. Um, you know, they, are, they really are wonderful cars. Um, but yeah, I'm going to take a break, um, and there's three reasons for that. Firstly, uh, I'd like to try a different model in the lineup, probably a uh, Turbo or a Turbo S. And there's quite a big jump in price from the model I have, which is a Carrera S, to a Turbo or a Turbo S. And I'm a bit reluctant to be writing that check at this point. Um, maybe in a year's time I'll be happy with that. Uh, secondly, um, I have a strong suspicion that we're going to be seeing the 991.5 out very soon, uh, possibly for the next model year. And so I'd like to see what the, um, what the new toys are that we get with that before I move forward with another one. But thirdly, and probably most compelling, uh, the most compelling reason why I'm holding off is that this wonderful beast has finally re been released. Um, you know, anyone that follows my videos or knows me will know that I had the previous generation, the E, 90 uh, M3 for uh, before I had my 911 uh, and loved it you know it was a great car so I've been very very curious about um, uh, what the new generation is going to be like and this is an opportunity for me to to get one even if it's only for a year or so uh, and drive it and compare it and do some reviews on it um, and I hope you guys find that useful as well because a lot of people move between the Porsche brand and the BMW brand um, and so I'm sure a lot of 911 owners are going to be very curious about uh, the new generation M4, M3 um, and how it compares to the, uh, to the 991, 911. So I hope people will find that useful. Um, yeah, so anyway, yeah, I, uh, I have, I've got one of those on order. I'm going to be getting one of the uh, initial cars that are coming in and um, I'm very much looking forward to that. Anyway, on to some of your other questions. Um, you know, a lot of people uh, have made a lot of suggestions to me about what car I should get, um, and they've all been good suggestions. And this uh, this this uh, message from Urkel is uh, is just an example of uh, what most people write. Um, he wrote, "Ignore all the haters; they're just jealous. Love your videos. The comment part was funny as hell. I have some of my personal choices. If you if I were to buy a car instead of a 911, they are the Jaguar F-Type." Um, now the Jaguar F-Type, uh, certainly if you listen to um, Chris Harris's video on the Jaguar F-Type, he's a real Porsche guy and he loves the Jaguar F-Type. So, so that just shows what uh, a fantastic car that actually is. And I think it's a beautiful car as well. Um, the Austin Martin V8 Vantage or any of the Austin Martins, they're all stunningly beautiful cars. I don't think I'd have one as a daily driver though. I'm not sure that the... Um, the reliability and the electronics really stand up to it being a daily driver. I'd certainly own one if I had the money as a second car though. Uh, he says the new Corvette seems okay to me. Uh, yeah, the new Corvette seems okay to me as well. Um, I have a friend of a friend who's uh, got one on order and I'm going to try and butter him up to get that car for a day or so and do a video review on it for you guys. Um, you know, Corvettes are the very best bang for your buck car. Um, and this new one really um, fixes a lot of what people conceived as the shortcomings of the Corvette, you know, the, 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 the sort of droughty interior and, and so forth. The new one has a lovely new interior, very high spec um, dash and, uh, and, and, and a beautiful exterior as well as being a magnificent performance car. So I'm very much looking forward to driving a, uh, the new C7 Corvette. And then he goes on to say, or last but not least, the Nissan GTR. And the Nissan GTR is probably by far the most common commented car for me. Everybody wants me to get a Nissan GTR. 
And as it turns out, I've driven a few Nissan GTRs, um, and I have a friend that's got a 2010 model that is currently selling. So if I can get my sticky little hands on that car before he sells it, I will try and do a quick video review on that as well, because um, while the GTR is a magnificent car, it, it is blindingly fast. Um, maybe the fastest car I've ever driven. Um, you know, it has its own quirks, and there is a reason why they don't sell as well as perhaps they could. Um, and so I'd like to uh, talk a little bit about that if I get the opportunity, and maybe talk with my friend about it um, so he can explain why, you know, after owning it for three, four years, he's decided to get rid of it. Um, it's his second car, um, and, uh, and, and try something else. But yeah, they are a fantastic car, and I would really love to be able to do a review on one so you guys can... You can see an alternative view of the uh, Nissan GTR. The next question comes from uh, the Charles 1030. The Charles uh, asks, what country is this guy born in? Well, a lot of you have guessed I am actually a Kiwi, which means I was born in New Zealand. What is New Zealand famous for if we look at Wikipedia? New Zealand is most famous for its diverse and beautiful natural beauty. <laughs> Uh, but no, New Zealand, well it is famous for that and many other things, but a lot of people um, feel that New Zealand is famous for its magnificent sheep to human ratio. Uh, well, there's a lot of contention as to how many sheep New Zealand actually has. Uh, a lot of people think it's about 40 million and there's about 4 million people, so you work that math out, it's, uh, it's good odds. Um, but yeah, I'm from New Zealand and um, I like to visit New Zealand and I actually have a... Um, I have an E30 BMW in New Zealand that uh, I'll be returning and doing a review on shortly, so you can look forward to that. Um, I've always loved the E30 BMWs, and I have a very mint one in New Zealand that, uh, that I'm looking forward to doing a review on that I've been slowly doing up over the years. The next question comes from um, Kelsey. She writes, Hi Nick, this is a bit off topic, yet I was wondering if you're gay. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Good question. <laughs> a question that my own family has asked me. Um, but no, sadly, the gay community has rejected me outright because I'm simply not stylish enough. Um, so never mind. Um, I have uh, gay friends, but yeah, they, they say that I, I can't be gay. I'm just, uh, just not up to it. Um, the next one isn't actually a question. It's just I enjoy this guy's comments. Uh, his username is Obama Ate My Dog which, <laughs> yes, um, he writes, all in caps, Hey dude, pay close attention. When you go to return the Porsche, climb onto the hood, drop your pants, and take a hot steamy shit right on the hood. Hope this helps. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, I won't be doing that, you know. Porsche in the end did the right thing by me, and I've got no ill feelings towards them. Um, but, yeah, you're definitely a poet, and I thank you for your comment. Um, the next one is uh, from a guy called John Wells who um, had written some negative stuff on a few on, on one of my videos. Uh, he had suggested that I shouldn't buy another 911 because I'm just obviously not a 911 guy. I don't know what I'm doing. He's a 911 guy, and um, and if I'd read my manual, I wouldn't have had the problems I had. Um, so I'd actually written back to him saying that I suspected he wasn't a 911 owner because most 911 owners have been pretty supportive of me. Um, and he went to the trouble of uh, doing a movie on me. <laughs> uh, and the movie is titled uh, Nick Murray Eats Cox, <laughs> which at first I was quite excited about. Uh, finally, my foray into the world of porn. Um, but uh, after watching the video in its entirety, sadly, um, I don't feature in the video and neither does any cox. So. Um, all the video is, is John uh, showing us his, his uh, 996, 911. So thank you very much for the effort, John. Um, I don't know that uh, it's worth hating on me as much as you do, um, but I certainly appreciate uh, the time you put into it. So anyway, uh, I hope um, I'm looking forward to getting the, the M4 and uh, giving you guys a video review on that and the other cars that I mentioned. And then eventually getting back into a, a, a newer model, 911, uh, in, in some uh, future date, uh, not too far away. So yeah, if um, there's any other cars that you guys would really love me to review, and I will fish around and see whether people will lend them to me, 
I'm happy to do that. Just uh, let me know in the comment section. And if not, thank you once again for all your support, watching my videos, and um, for all of those of you that uh, say nice things and a few of you that don't say such nice things. Um, anyway, I look forward to talking to you again in my next video. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye then.